because we, I need a little bit more energy here, okay? So count of three, big applause, Tuan Tong, come on guys. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for coming. First of all, let me introduce myself because I'm not Anton. Uh, my name is Juan Alguero. I work in Adglo Sales Department uh, as sales manager, uh, and I'm here today to talk about Facebook ad hacks. Uh, I think that is a very interesting topic, so I hope you all take advantage of this presentation. And if you have any doubt, please don't hesitate to ask at the end of the presentation. We start good? <laughs> no. Okay, uh, I'm going to divide the presentation in three parts. Uh, in the first part, I will introduce AdGlow in order that you know whether what we do or how we can help companies to grow their business. Uh, then in the main part, uh, we will see how Facebook is a very good tool to enhance results and not also uh, just branding or, or sales. Uh, Facebook allows us to to get uh, many different kind of results. And finally, we will see four case studies of companies we have worked with uh, and how Facebook can achieve many different goals. Well, uh, Adglow is a Facebook and Twitter official marketing partner. Uh, our division of Adglow Direct is specialized in, manage, in managing social media performance campaigns. Uh, the fact that we are an official marketing partner gives us a, a very good differentiation in the market because also uh, we have developed our uh, own high-end uh, in-house technology. Adglow Direct is experienced because we have run more than 30,000 campaigns around the world. Also, we simultaneously every day uh, run around 300 campaigns. Also, is value. I say before, we are an official marketing partner, and we are fully ROI oriented. And it's global scale because we have 14 offices in 11 different countries. As you can see here in the map, uh, these are the cities where we have uh, an office. Uh, this uh, global scale allows us to face uh, international and complex projects because we work every day in different time zones. What we do? Well, we increase the ROI of our clients. We provide a tailor-made uh, service of, uh, of managing campaigns. Uh, this service is managed by our uh, account managers, and we work with our own technology. Uh, I'd like to say, uh, I'd like to talk about the, the account manager. The key player of our company is the account manager. His main objective is enhance the role of our clients. Uh, they receive every month a, content, a constant training directly from Facebook or Twitter, so they know every trend that, that this market. And they are dedicated on giving an optimization of the campaigns, furthermore, uh, outline campaigns, create reports, etc. Well, uh, now let's take immerse in the plot of the, of the presentation. As you can see in this picture, there is a family who is watching TV, but at the same time, they are checking their smartphones. Uh, we don't know where people will be in three years from now, but we know for sure that all your clients are now on Facebook. Uh, Facebook is in our lives at the same way that uh, the smartphones are, uh, so this is the new normal. Uh, I guess that everybody here in the room knows what Facebook, uh, Facebook ads are, but why? Why should we, use, why sh we should use Facebook ads in our mixed marketing? Well, the first point is for the reach, because Facebook uh, has, for example, here in Spain, more than 22 million people uh, of active users every, every month. Also, uh, due to the, its detailed targeting, uh, we are able to reach up to 90% uh, of our target. Um, as I said at the beginning, uh, we can get many different goals, uh, from branding to direct sales, and all of this, we can see the performance of our campaigns uh, with uh, its real-time metrics. Well, there are five key parts when we are going to work a, a campaign on Facebook, when we are going to run a campaign on Facebook. The first one is about the strategy. Always we talk about the strategy, uh, we would like to, to talk about four moments of the conversion funnel. 
The first one uh, is about discovery. We want to show the users who we are and which is our product. Uh, so at the beginning, uh, we need to do a awareness campaign in order to create a, com a community and get engaged with them. After this point, uh, we talk about consideration. Consideration is after uh, the users know us, uh, they show most, more, more interest uh, about our product. So in this second step, uh, we should drive massive qualified uh, traffic to our website in order that they can know deeper about the product we are selling. Well, after going down for this funnel, it's time to do conversion campaigns. These conversion campaigns uh, can follow uh, two different objectives. Could be leads, if you are a company, for example, who has a call center and your core business is to, uh, is to sell by phone, or direct sales if you are an e-commerce, for example. Uh, and the last part is about loyalty. Once uh, a user has bought our product, we, we should continue interacting with them uh, trying to build that loyalty. With loyalty, I mean uh, cross-selling, upselling, or even uh, repurchase. Uh, the second part uh, of to, uh, to do a, a successful campaign is about targeting. Uh, targeting is, is one of the best attributes that Facebook has. Uh, when we talk about targeting, uh, we can separate it in three main, main parts. The first one is about core audiences. Uh, core audiences are the large amount of, of variables that Facebook allows us to segment our users. Then we talk about custom audiences. Uh, custom audiences are the people that we already know. For example, we can uh, upload our uh, client database to Facebook and Facebook will match it with the Facebook users and they will give uh, them back uh, on Facebook. So uh, we can uh, re impact to the users that already have bought us. And the third part is about lookalike audiences. Uh, lookalike audiences are similar users of our users. For example, we have a custom audience. Uh, Facebook creates a pattern of, this, of these users and then give us similar users in order we can show our ads more effectively. Well, once we have decided our uh, targeting strategy, uh, it's time to structure a campaign. We will always will recommend we will always recommend uh, structure a campaign in the same way. We will have the the campaign in the top, and then we will create a different asset, one asset by each micro target that we have selected previously, and uh, inside each asset, different ads. This kind of structure uh, will allow us to optimize uh, whether the campaigns because we will be able to balance uh, the budget to the access or the ads that are performing better. The fourth is about creativity. Creativity is the main part, more even in, in Facebook because uh, it's very visual. We need to be very attractive. Uh, it's possible that most of you could think that if I pay a lot of money to Facebook, Facebook will show our ad for sure. That's not exactly true. Uh, Facebook takes care a lot of, of the users of Facebook. So uh, there are three equal parts uh, to do a successful ad. For sure, it's important a bit, but uh, we also have the relevance score. The relevance score means uh, how, how attractive uh, is the ad for the people that is, that is watching it. And last time it's about targeting, uh, the target that we have selected. If we are showing, for example, uh, jewelry to a child of 16 years, we are not doing a good targeting. So it's very important. So to do a successful campaign, uh, not only is important the bidding, but also the relevance of the, of the ad and the targeting that we have selected. For example, talking about hacks, uh, due to our experience, we know, for example, that if we put a copy with 14 words, the ad will, will, work, will perform better, the same way in the description, with a maximum of 18 words, or a title. In the title, we only, we only recommend put five words. And when we work about an ad, um, we have very different elements uh, inside the ad. So, e so it's, it's very important uh, that all that elements jointly work together in order to enhance the results of, of that ad. 
And last but not least, it's about measurement. Uh, in our experience, about 70-80% of the campaigns that don't achieve their goals is due to a bad pixel implementation. A pixel will allow us uh, uh, not only to know the result that we are getting, but also uh, help us in the optimization. So always, always that we will work uh, with in an application environment, we, we will need to, to implement the SDK and the same way with the conversion pixel in every website. Also, our technology allows us to, um, to be connected with third-party measurement tools if necessary. Well, uh, now I'd like to show you uh, some different examples that how Facebook could, uh, could get uh, many different uh, objectives. The first case study is about Mini uh, with a main objective of awareness. Uh, they wanted to reach the most of the people of their target in 28 hours. Well, we made that campaign. If we could get um, more than 7,000 interactions. The second one is El Armario de la Tele wanted to, to get app installs uh, for two different segments of women. Uh, we have a budget and, a, and one objective, but we could, uh, uh, we could get 2,600 more installs that we have in, in, in our primary objective. Well, here, uh, other of our clients, Real Madrid, uh, wanted to increase uh, their database. So we made a, a, lead, a lead ad campaign, and uh, with our help, they could decrease uh, up to 50% its CPL in Europe and uh, up to 80% in, in Latin. Now, here there is another example of lead generation. Uh, in this case, is, is Nectar who could reach double of people that at the beginning they thought that they, they could, and uh, the cost decreased five times, so 80% of, um, of saves. And the last example that we have is about Super Studio. Super Studio is a client of us uh, who has two, two main objectives. The first one, of course, is, is sell, selling online, but also they have a very huge uh, catalog, so they wanted to promote uh, all their, their items uh, as much as, as they can. Well, Facebook has a, a product that works very good with, for every commerce. It's called Dynamic, uh, dynamic Product Ads. So that means that with this product, we can do a, a dynamic retargeting of our product. So uh, we could um, show the most of their catalog uh, to many different people, and also we could decrease 25% the cost per acquisition. And that's all. Hope you all enjoy the presentation. If you have any doubt, please don't hesitate to ask. And if you want to talk deeper uh, with us, we have an stand here, or my team is, is up here. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Juan. Now I'm getting it yeah. right. I got the wrong information. No problem. No problem. Uh, and I have sales manager at AdGlow. Yeah. That I got it right. <laughs> Juan, thank you very much. Thank you. Pleasure having you here.